Hey guys, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel and to a how I pre-plan video. I know that kind of sounds a little weird. I've never done a video like this, but I figured it would be kind of cool to do to show you guys how I pre-plan for my plan ahead spreads. I saw a couple people do this and I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, it's cool to see how other people, like pre-plan. So I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys how I pre-plan. There's also a dog currently pushing their dog bowl around, so if you guys can hear that, I'm sorry. So this is my Hardbound Erin Conjured. I got this a couple of months ago, and I've been using this ever since I got it to pre-plan. So um, obviously there's like a bunch of writing. This is literally just a completely written in planner. There's no stickers in it, nothing. It's just my writing. That's all it is. So we're going to flip to the actual week that we are on, which is the 11th through the 17th. So I do have some things already planned out. Um, these are things that were already pre-planned and I just put them in just so that I can remember them. So the first thing that I do is make sure that I don't have any like bill dues or anything on there, which I do. I have the sub renewal on Monday uh for scribble prints co and glam planner it's not really a bill due i just like to do it also my writing's gonna be horrendous because i'm doing this on camera and i can't like and it's also gonna be crooked because i can't write normal so just as a forewarning for you guys so yeah that's my only bill due that i have this week and then what i do is i go f to my little things uh so i'm gonna look at my work schedule first and hopefully put that not on screen because that has all my locations that I'm working. So I'm off on Monday. Tuesday, I work from 1 to 9.30. Wednesday, I'm off. Thursday, I work from 12.30 to 9. Wow, I got the mid shifts. Oh, this writing is going to be so bad. Uh, Friday, I'm 4 to 12.30. Yeah. 4 to 12.30, and then Saturday I'm 4 to 12.30, uh, and then Sunday, I don't have, oh, I didn't write it down yet, that was my bad, okay, so 4 to 12.30, Sunday I believe I'm 4 to 12.30 as well, let me double check, hold on, yes, so I am 4 to 12.30 as well on Sunday, okay, so there's my work schedule and then I'm going to track my TV shows. So for my TV shows, I use a app that's called the Next Episode app, uh, which I know that a lot of people use. So this is what it looks like. There's actually not a lot of TV shows on this week. Really? That's interesting. Did a lot of them end? That might be why. Or they might be on like a hiatus. So um, the only ones that I have on this week is Riverdale on Wednesday. And let's see. Once Upon a Time and there's two Hawaii Five O's on Friday. But I'm just going to mark one Hawaii Five O. Five O. And then is that it? Oh, that is it. All right. That's weird. Usually I have more TV shows on. Uh, so yeah, we. I just use the next episode app. I know that a lot of people use this app. Um, and it's actually really good for like tracking what TV shows you watch and stuff like that. It does have a couple of glitches, unfortunately. But you know, what can you do about that? So yeah, so that's my TV schedule. And then for packages, I don't... I think I may have like two packages potentially coming this week. Let me check really quickly. So I just go through like my Etsy orders to see if I have any. So I should get one from Scribble Prints Co. It's not in transit yet, so I don't have an exact date, but I'm usually pretty good at estimating them. So I should get one from Scribble Prints Co. probably on Saturday. Yeah. And then I have one from Glam Planner coming on Wednesday. And I think that's it. Are there any other ones? We do have a fox and cactus order coming, but that one I don't think tells me a ship, or like an actual date. It just says it's in transit. Yeah, it arrived at destination country on the 9th, so I don't have an estimated time for that. Okay, so I think that's it for my packages. Yes, I think. Yes, okay. So, I think that's it for my little things. 
there's nothing else that I usually mark. So that's how I kind of track my like TV shows, packages and stuff like that. I just honestly, I look at what like my phone has and like I look on Etsy for my Etsy packages. I have all my schedules on my work one and yeah, I think that's, I think that's it. So uh, let's see here. Moving on to day by day. So for Monday, I had a plan. I had something I needed to do. Now I can't remember what it is. I am the worst. I literally had it in my head and I can't remember. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and come back to Monday. Saturday, I know for sure that the Santa Claus is coming on Netflix, which I am super excited about. Santa Claus uh, movies are some of my favorite movies and I just, I, I love watching them. So I'm excited for that. And then Wednesday, we are building gingerbread houses. We were gonna be going to the LA Zoo Lights, but then my sister found out that she had a final on that day. So instead we're gonna be building gingerbread houses, which I'm excited for. And Thursday is my payday. I know that. Uh, this is kind of a hard week because I don't know exactly what, like, what's happening. Friday, I may or may not end up going into the park early to try to get some more Christmas shopping done. So I think I'm just going to put more, buy more presents or more Christmas shopping. Because I really need to uh, finish my Christmas shopping. I only have at the moment two presents and I, I definitely need more than that. So yeah. Uh, 17th Sunday is Danielle's birthday. She's one of my coworkers, and I don't think anything else honestly is happening, which I feel kind of bad about because it's, it's kind of hard to pre-plan when you don't have very much happening. I know that. I know that we did want to bake cookies on one of these days because my dad really wants gingerbread cookies, which I might put it on Saturday before work. Yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, because we were talking about building our gingerbread houses, and my dad was like, well, do I get to eat them? And I'm like, you really want to eat them? Because they're like the pre-made, like, kits that you buy in stores. And he was like, yeah, I love gingerbread, like, cookie, like, stuff. Like, he likes the gingerbread, like, taste. And I was like, okay, if I bake you gingerbread cookies, will you not eat my house? And then he was like, yeah, okay, fine. Because some of the candy that we put on our house, because we just decorate them, and then they just kind of sit on our mantle. And some of the candy that we had is from, like, last year. So, we I don't want him eating it. So, yeah. Um, I think that's actually everything. I know that it's kind of a boring week, but I don't have much happening. So, uh, moving on to, like, what I would do for, in this, like, instance after this. So, I have my planner here. And you guys have seen this before where you have seen how I plan out all of my spreads. So I have them all with a post-it note on the actual week and then I have a post-it note on the kit in my sticker binder. So the one that I'm using this week is the Candy Cane Lane Kit, which is this one. Super pretty. I'm like super excited to use it. And what I do is I grab the kit and then I compare it to what I have like on my list to see what icons I can use, if I want to use icons, if I want to use character stickers. For the most part, usually my like payday will be the kit itself. Uh, my dentist one will be if they have a tooth icon in the kit, which she does. So my dentist one will be uh, from the kit. And then usually like the bill dues obviously are from the kit. And the rest of them usually I tend to pull from things. For the birthday, I don't think she, she used to have birthday balloons. Oh yeah, so she does still have birthday balloons in this kit. So for your Danielle's birthday, I can use the birthday balloons. So I don't need to pull out that, but I will probably pull out some character stickers and stuff like that. So what I then just do is I just go through into my like sticker storage and I grab any character stickers that I think pertain to what I need. So like for the Santa Claus going on Netflix, I'll probably grab like one of my holiday ones. Uh, I don't think there are any that are like dressed as Santa though, other than like this one. Let me see. Oh, there is. Okay, so there's like the holiday, uh, these are the Christmas ones from Coffee Monsters Coast. There is one right there. So I'll just pull that out for the Santa Claus. And then for gingerbread houses, I'm again going to use the same thing from the Coffee Monsters Coast. Or not the same thing, but like the bucket list. Pull that out. Payday is going to be from the kit shopping. 
I tend to use a lot of Once More With Love and Coffee Monsters Co. ones. That's just kind of my personal preference. So uh, that's why you see a lot of those. For actually, I take that back. For Christmas shopping, I think I might change it up. Do I want to? So I got these in the mail and I'm actually not going to haul these because they are Christmas ones. But they are the Fox and Cactus Christmas Girls. These are, like I said, new. I just got these and I might use these. I really like them. I stayed off the like Fox and Cactus bandwagon just because I don't, I didn't know if I liked them, but like I really do. And her paper is like amazing. I also have these ones from Glam Planner. So I think I'm going to grab both of these and just kind of decide on which ones I want. And then baking cookies. Um, again, I'm going to grab the Fox and Cactus one because this is the sheet that has some cookies on it. And last but not least for Danielle's birthday, I'm going to go back into this one and there should be... I should have some birthday stickers in here somewhere. Ooh. Nope. Okay. I think I passed them. Did I pass them? I did. I had to have. Oh, do I want to use the Coffee Monsters Co. birthday ones? Because I do have those. No, I think I'm going to go to the Munchkins. Because there's a specific one I have in my mind that I want to use for Danielle. So she's a very bubbly person, a very like happy, kind person. And, um, I don't know, maybe not. I could have sworn there was one with like a crown. Maybe that's like the actual like birthday sheet itself. Okay, so maybe I am going to use the Coffee Monsters Co. one. So we'll switch back over here. Where to go? To this one. And... Yeah, I'll use one of these. And that is actually it. So I just pull out them and then I start planning. So yeah, hopefully this was pretty interesting for you guys. I don't know if it was or not, but yeah, that's, that is essentially how I pre-plan. A uh, planning for like pre-planning kind of for my rewind spreads. I know it's not really pre-planning is a little bit different because I pull out a lot more character stickers, but for pre-planning for like my plan ahead plan with me, so this is as simple as it gets. This is exactly how I pre-plan. It's not very hard, but it's pretty effective, at least for me. What I used to do, I did used to put them on like little post-it pads like this. this is why this one's so used. Uh, but I used to do that and I used to put them on like pads and paper and like write down everything. That's what I used to do. I also used to have a whiteboard that had like each day of the week and I would write down what uh, I did on each day but this is just really it's really simple and I like having it all in one place and I can like look back on it if I ever needed to so yeah that is how I pre-plan for all my videos I hope this kind of gives you guys a little bit of inspiration let me know how you pre-plan because I'm curious it, like do you do it this way do you write it on a list do you what do you do? How do you pre-plan for your videos or not your videos, but like for your week? I'm not, I'm sure every, not everyone does videos obviously, but how do you pre-plan for your week? What do you write down or do you just do it as you go? Let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up as always and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys in another video very, very soon. Bye guys.